What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Will. I'm a real estate agent out here in Los Angeles, California. And on my channel, I talk about real estate, business, entrepreneurship, and I help newer agents on their journey in the real estate industry. It has been a really long time since I have posted a video. Make sure to go check out my update video. I posted it last week on kind of where I've been at. So I'll leave you to that to go see just the latest on where I've been. But today, I got a great video for you guys. Today, we're gonna to be talking about what every brand new agent should be doing in their first 30 days as a real estate agent. This is an extremely important topic because any brand new agent is not gonna know what to do in their first 30 days. When they first join a brokerage, they really just don't know where to go or what to do. When I first started, I honestly had no idea. So I was looking for videos just like this that could help me out. With that being said, let's talk about the first thing that every new agent should be doing, which is coming up with a business plan. I don't just mean coming up with the numbers of how much you wanna sell or how many homes you wanna sell. Of course, that's included with it. But what I mean is, setting your goals in a way where it's not just financial, but it's the impact that you want to make. What do you want to do in the industry? Who do you want to become? It's really just an internal question you have to ask yourself. Once you know who you want to become, then you can actually start operating your business in that manner. Once you know your why of why you got into real estate, then everything's going to get a little bit easier for you. So that is tip number one. It's very brief, but it is the most important because without that aspect, then everything else crumbles. You won't know what to do next. But let's go ahead and jump into number two, which is finding a mentor. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while now, you would know that a mentor is one of the biggest things to me. I talk about having a mentor in almost all of my videos. So without a mentor, you definitely won't know what to do. You can have your why, you can know whatever you want, but without guidance and leadership, you will not know how to operate your business. Now, what your mentor is going to help you with is going to be dominating in the real estate industry, learning and mastering all of your contracts so that you are confident enough to go out there and actually present them to your clients and understand them when you receive them. They're going to help you with appointments, showings, presentations, and overall just making you confident enough to one day be on your own. And the reason why I put quotations on that is because in real estate, you're never really on your own, especially when you just get to know so many people. As you get in the industry, you start selling more homes. You just get to know more people who are going to be there for you. They're going to be able to help you, especially if you're joining the right brokerage, which is one of the biggest things out of that. I mean, my brokerage that I'm at, if your mentor is not available, you know, you may have your sponsor depending on how your relationship is with your sponsor. And if your sponsor is not available, you can go to the broker room, the brokers will be able to help you. I mean, there's just unlimited support. So you're never actually on your own. So don't ever be scared that you're just all by yourself. Agents who have been in the business five, 10 years even have questions. Not all of, none of us are perfect. Every transaction, we learn something new. So we're always gonna need a support system. We're always gonna need each other. Now moving on to tip number three, that's gonna be study up, okay? Your mentor can do only so much for you. This business is all on you, okay? You can get all the support in the world, but if you're not putting in the work to actually understand the industry that you're in, then you're failing yourself. So once your mentor hands everything over to you and really gives you an understanding of how things work, it is your job to study your contracts, understand how presentations and showings are done. Because if you don't know how to do that stuff, or if you just don't study up on it, you're never gonna be the successful agent and the sharp agent that you actually want to be. And now I'm not saying you need to be perfect right off the jump. Nobody is. Like I mentioned, nobody's even perfect 10, 15, 20 years down the line. There's always something to learn. But practice makes perfect. You should be practicing your craft every single day, studying the things that you don't understand, studying the fundamentals, because that's that's going to be your foundation of how you treat clients, how you treat other agents, how you treat people in general. So overall, just gain an understanding of the industry each and every day. Do something that is going to help you increase your knowledge. And now my fourth and final tip is going to be figuring out your marketing methods. And now what I mean by that is it could be cold calling, social media, door knocking, networking events. There are so many different routes that you can take when it comes to lead generation. So in your first 30 days, you want to figure out what fits you best. And now you're probably not even going to know because you're a brand new agent. 
So what I recommend is trying everything. Try cold calling, try door knocking, try social media, try networking events, do it all and see what you want to do. Go figure out other lead generation options too. There's a bunch of videos about that. I'm going to come out with a video about that soon, but that's for next time. Figure out what you want to do. Choose like two or three of them and just go heavy at it every single day. Now I do have a lot to say about this tip because there actually is a lot of controversy in the real estate community when it comes to lead generation. I know you wouldn't think that there's controversy, but there is, okay? Many coaches that you're gonna come across, many people that you're gonna meet are gonna tell you what they think you should do with your business, okay? And you got into real estate because it's your business and there's nothing wrong with listening to people. I, I'm an advocate of that. Listen to people, get guidance, understand. Go listen to everybody's experience and see what's gonna benefit you the most. But when it comes to marketing, prospecting, and all that good stuff, that is the bread and butter of your business. That is what you're gonna be doing every single day for the rest of your career so that you can attract business and make a living. My biggest tip that I can give you about that is doing what is gonna make you happy. You're not gonna know immediately what's gonna, what is and what isn't gonna make you happy. Maybe cold calling sounds good to you, but then you try and you, you're like, I don't like this. Maybe the same with social media or door knocking or maybe going to networking events. My only thing is, is if nothing works for you, this isn't the business for you to begin with. But what I would say is focus on what is gonna make you happy. I know many coaches will say you need to focus on Cold calling, for example, that's what's going to make your business the most successful. That's what's going to make you money. And if you don't cold call, they'll say, are you scared to make money? Do you not want to make money? And that's not the case. The case is if you're making money at the cost of your happiness, this is definitely not the industry for you. No industry should ever be worth your happiness in order to get money out of it. Okay. I know so many coaches and I don't mean to throw shade. But I know many coaches who will force agents or not, I don't want to say force, but they will make them feel bad if they're not doing the marketing that they think is the best just because they've been in the industry for a while. Totally fair and understood. Okay. But here's my thing. I'll give you an example about myself. I have been, I, I've been in the industry now for a little over two and a half years, right? I tried cold calling when I first started. I actually even cold called in the job I had before this and I was in that job for a year and a half and all I did was cold call. So I'm not new to cold calling. I hate it, okay? I hate cold calling. I'm saying that right now. I'm saying that for everybody to see. I don't like cold calling and I don't do it, okay? And now here's the problem. If I tell a coach that I had a three hour cold calling session, they'd be like, that's amazing, I love that. If I tell them I did a three hour filming session for social media, for YouTube, for Instagram, I don't think they'd have the same reaction with me, okay? If you're gonna do something that you don't like to do, you will not be successful to begin with. And even if you do end up being successful, you're not gonna be happy. There are two different types of I did it, okay? There's an I did it where you feel happy that you did it. You feel like, you know what? That was a challenge, but I did it and I'm happy and I'm ready to do that again tomorrow. And then there's a, and I did it where it's like, finally, I did it. It's over with like I'm done. If, if, if you're in the ladder where you feel like I did it finally, you really need to question what you're doing because that is not going to end well for you. OK, but like I said, try it all. That's my biggest advice. Don't sit here and telling anybody that Will said that I shouldn't cold call, Will said I shouldn't door knock, absolutely not. You should try every single marketing method. What I am telling you is don't fall into the trap of feeling bad that you don't cold call, you don't door knock, but you are one hell of a person on social media, or you are one hell of a person when it comes to networking events. Everybody finds, that we live in 2021, there's a lot of ways to get business, okay? There's a lot of ways to market, there's a lot of ways to find people out there who want to do business with you. So don't be stuck on one thing. Don't don't be sad that you're just doing one thing because I'm telling you right now, most of these coaches, 
there's a reason why they want you to do a certain type of marketing. It's so that you can be a part of their programs and stuff because their programs are built around that marketing. Me, as an example, I would recommend each and every one of you to get on social media. I would recommend each and every one of you to get on YouTube and start content creation and put out stuff on Instagram and Facebook. But I'm not gonna sit here and make you feel bad if that's not what you wanna do, you know? So at the end of the day, figure out what you're good at and just go crazy on it. And like I said, I'm not sitting here saying that it's gonna be sunshine and rain rainbows just 24 seven in this industry. You are gonna have challenges. YouTube is the hardest thing that I've ever done, period. Okay, I film my videos on my own. I edit them on my own. I write them up on my own. Everything that is happening with YouTube is done by me and me alone. And to put myself out there in front of a lot of people, I can get judged. There's many different things that can happen. It has been the hardest thing that I have done. So I'm not saying that it's gonna be easy, but after I film my videos, I feel good. I feel so good because yes, it is challenging, but I feel good afterwards. I'm like, that's awesome and I'm excited to do it again. So I know that I have a lot to talk about with this, but please take into consideration everything that I am telling you and I'm telling you it now and I'm giving you my experience because that is what you're gonna run across. I know you might, like my other tips that I just gave were like super kind of short and to the point, but this one I'm taking some time to talk about, it's because this is what you're gonna run into in the industry. Try everything, see what you like. If you don't like it, after some time, stop doing it and find something else. If you end up not liking anything at all, real estate's not for you. It is literally that simple, guys. With all that being said, go and get out there. Go get out there and let the world know that you are in real estate. I let the world know I was in real estate even before I had my real estate license, and I benefited greatly from that. So just go out there and let everyone know. Have conversations with people, genuine conversations with people. I was once told something, and this advice stuck with me for a really long time, and I wanna pass it on to you. When you're having a conversation with someone and your end goal is just to let them know what you do so you can someday get business out of them, you're doing it wrong. By the end of your conversation with anybody that you're talking to, when it comes to, let's say, work and business and just getting to know them, they should know what you do and you should know what they do, okay? I know it's important that they know what you do so that you can get future business, but it matters more that you know what they do because it shows that you care. And if you're genuine and you show people that you actually care about them, that is what's gonna make you a successful agent and a successful person, not just in real estate, but in life itself. And we are going to end it on that note, guys. I am so happy that I am finally back on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking the video, leaving a comment. This is stuff that really helps out my channel and it just helps my channel grow. So I would really appreciate it if you guys did that. I also do have a weekly newsletter that I post every single Tuesday where I talk about real estate, updates on the market, and just overall current events. If you're not subscribed to that, make sure to subscribe to it. It's gonna be linked down in the description box below. Make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. I will also have that in the link down below. But other than that, I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day and I will see you all on the next one.